Nigeria receive help from God Almighty. God wants to help us, but the art of God is raging for the mass corruption in Nigeria. Therefore, we need to repent, pay restitution, and ask for forgiveness and move forward. My name is Yusuf Babatunde Ajayi. Mr. President, all Nigerians, rich, poor, young and old, may I ask you these questions. Is there anything a man has that was not given? Is there anything a man has that will not finish? Nothing. But only the glory and love of God and every other thing God said is vanity upon vanity. Then why the greed, selfishness and mass corruption in the land? President Jonathan, time is running out for you to do God's will concerning corruption because he has earlier spoken to you on this problem. God has now provided a way out. Thank God Almighty. Thus, God wants you to set up two committees for this purpose. The first to be called the Repentance, Restitution and Forgiveness Committee. The second to be called the National Value Review, Implementation and Corruption Eradication Committee. These committees must be established under the Act of the National Assembly with membership from Nigerians of proven integrity. This committee shall sit till February 2012 to facilitate the national recovery process. The first committee or commission will create a forum to hear from sober Nigerians and foreigners who are ready to repent, say something if they wish, no old bad, pay restitution freely and seek the nation's or citizen's forgiveness to start a new life that will foster the progress, peace, honesty, unity, and sources of, an, of Nigeria and humanity worldwide. All respondents, without any exception, will have to pay a restitution of at least one third or one quarter of their total assets to the recovery account as the conscience directs them. Therefore, before they come forward, they must be ready with their payment check for this purpose. The Spirit of God is saying that corruption was due majorly to bad values and selfishness of the people. Therefore, the second committee will provide a forum to address and solve these great problems forthwith for our national progress with regards to change in value and eradica eradication of corruption. The outcome of these committees must be reflected in our constitution and binding on every Nigerian. Good luck. You can play a leadership role in this respect. Be the first to appear before the committee or commissions with true heart without any prejudice to motivate others to come forward. Don't be wary or afraid of those giants, but obey God's commandments. For nobody is greater than God. There will be judgment for a time. 
don't join them but you can take the lead submit to the national recovery account what your conscience tells you is not yours but for the generality of nigerians or if that is not your situation let nigerians know that you are doing this as a sacrifice for the love and concern for the masses and Israel will not forget your gesture forever. Amen. Mr. President, that would be good leadership on your part. Compassion for the suffering people and see how others will follow your good gesture. Additionally, the following are also suggested. Number one, as God laid this on my heart, that from now on, every government project at all levels, federal, state, and local government, must feature a special heading called Corruption Free Proof. That must be reviewed and approved by the EFCC before the project is signed for implementation. The government must ensure that those appointed or recruited to EFCC are of high integrity. This report must include the following and other things as determined by the committee and EFCC. Contract amount. Method of contract. Cost-benefit analysis. Source of finance. Availability of funds, cost of finance, service level agreement for non-performance, ETC. Number two, all investors and businesses, Nigerians or foreign owned, without any exception, must meet the requirements for business registration in Nigeria, which must include the manufacturing of their products locally within a maximum of five years of operation in Nigeria. All existing investors must be required to comply with these requirements or stop business in Nigeria within a stipulated period of time. The reason for the above is that for the sake of our development or industrialization, we cannot continue to be importers indefinitely while these investors enrich themselves at the expense of the Nigerian masses. Number three, all companies must, be, must give consideration to employ Nigerians first unless the expertise is established with the labor ministry with appropriate documentation that the skill is not presently available locally. Needless to say that our labor ministry, along with the Ministry of Education and other arms of government, must ensure the development program to reflect the need of our industries. Our God Almighty said, we should be warned that Nigeria must not be puppet to any nation or sign any accord that will keep us bound, but open our doors to every nation of the world ready to comply with our requirements for investment or business. And because they are all our brothers in God, but not to control or exploit or keep us helplessly bound under their authority. Number four. Our God Almighty wants Nigeria and all African nations to group their nations into regions and elect leaders among the respective regions in turn 
by rotation for the purpose of fairness, equality, and peace in the continent of Africa. This method must also be reflected at all levels of our political offices, including the legislative, the executive, and the judiciary, federal, state, and local governments. God is saying this is the best method for Africa. Therefore, we don't have to follow other continents blindly, but seek the method of democracy that can work successfully for us. Nigerians, please know that I am motivated spiritually by God Almighty to think about the problems of humanity listen to God, receive solutions and revelations and bring them to the people's knowledge. Mr. President, I have told you the mind of our God concerning the deplorable situation in our country Nigeria and God expects your feedback and obedience for the sake of the suffering Nigerian masses. Therefore, President Jonathan, National House of Assembly, and this government, I challenge you before our God Almighty to determine where your interest lies. Is it for the ma Nigerian masses? or not. Our God Almighty is watching and waiting. Thank you. You can request for a copy of this message. Just email me at ajayitunde at yahoo.co.uk You can also join me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter at ajaitune at twitter.com. Check me out on YouTube. Call or text to 347-239-0121. Thank you and God bless.